Hi, my name is William Cohen. I'm a performance tools engineer at Red Hat. I work on a number of different performance tools, including SystemTap. You may have not heard about SystemTap before, but it's a very useful tool that allows you to instrument running systems. Big advantages are the following. You don't have to recompile your code to use the instrumentation. You don't need to reinstall things, and you don't need to restart the code to uh, get data out. It also gives you a system-wide view of what's happening on the system. You can look at what's going on in the kernel. You can look at what's going on in user space. You can look at what's going on in different processes across user space. So it's a very, very useful tool. Right now we're looking at the web page for SystemTap, http colon slash slash sourceware.org slash SystemTap. There's an immense amount of documentation that uh, we have done on the upstream to make it available and make it easy to use. If you look at sourceware.org slash systemtap slash documentation.html, there is a lot of examples there in the example section. These examples are also available on the system itself. So if you look at slash user slash share slash doc slash systemtap dash 1.6 slash examples slash index.html, you'll pretty much get the same thing on your own machine. It's been a little bit irritating that Firefox keeps dying on me. What we can do is we can use one of those example scripts to see what's killing Firefox. So we can look at the SIGKILL example. And what you see with all these scripts is you have some event that it's probing. And that's this right here, this probe signal.send. And then when that event happens, there's a, an action that's associated with that. In this case, it's going to take a look at what kind of signal is being sent. And if it's a sig kill, then it's going to print out some information. It's going to say what kind of signal was sent, to which process, and by which user ID. So we can start this running with just stap and then the, the file name. So we've got that running now. And we can start our browser again. Okay, this tells us that the SIG kill was sent to Firefox by a kill all. Now the next question is, what is causing the kill all? We can use another script to find out what's going on. So what I have in this directory here is I have another script called PS Tracing that I've written, which is going to watch every time an exec is done, and it's going to look to see what process name that thing is. So we pass that in on the command line, that's what that at one is. If that file name we're looking for matches what we pass in, it's then going to print out some information. And that's what this following printf does. So we're going to trace back from that process back all the way to the init process. And we've encapsulated the thing that's actually doing that trace back in this ps trace function. It's going to take a pointer, which is the pointer to the task struct. This function we can use in a bunch of different places. We can reuse this in different events and everything else. So what this is doing is going to take in that pointer to the task struct, and it's going to return a string which has that list, and it's going to print out the executable name and the task ID. It's going to put that in that string, and it's going to keep doing that until it gets to that init process. And then once it has that all the way back to the init process, it will return. Don't worry about this causing the machine to freeze up or anything like that because SystemTap does take care to make sure that it limits the amount of processing time that any particular function or probe uses. So to start this, we pretty much just do stap like we did before, and then the name of the script. And then we also need a kill all in there to say what we're looking for. So we start that running. And while it's running, we are going to restart our web browser. And as I mentioned on the documentation page, there's beginner's guides, there's language references, there's a bunch of documentation there for it. Another place to get documentation, oh, okay, that just answers our question of what's killing it. We have a cron job that's running that's causing that kill all to run. So we can stop our script with control C, we can cron tab dash E. We can delete that. And now we can restart our browser and we don't have to worry about it dying. The one last page I want to point you at is the 
Red Hat Customer Portal. There's all sorts of information about SystemTap and other things related to Red Hat Enterprise Linux there. You can just go out and type in your search terms there, like SystemTap, and all sorts of things will show up. I mean, there's 126 things that show up there, but just try it out and enjoy.